Welcome back. This is Rotten Raven. We are playing Hero Wars Day 18 to be part 3. We're trying to take down the Arch Demon. I think we only need to get 70 mil to get the 300 mil uh, daily reward. So we already did a couple teams, so this is what I'm picking with. So a 5 minute battle, which is luck. Make sure you put an auto. Like I said, wish us luck because we don't have a dedicated healer. And looking at this team here, maybe I should have picked Arazeroth for a shield. But it's only last like, like up, I think five seconds is that. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. So I'm picking more of the people who have the buffs today that um, can do more damage. Because most of these are considered our mages. And we're using an amp for a tank. Like I said, he normally, for his ultimate swallows, I don't think he's gonna do it. Like, yeah, he's gonna do a giant chop instead. I, I didn't mean pause. That's why I put Kane on her with her pet. It's doing a lot of damage. Kane normally does more damage. And we had to pick out over them for the team pet for sure, even though we have been just for the heals. I have a feel when we get down to like some swords, we're gonna lose a hero. Especially with no one having a shield. I mean she kinda gives a little bit of something here with her frost thing, but it's not a real shield. It just absorbs damage. So when he does this fire and sky attack right here, for example, yeah, see, come on, however, heal, 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 heal. Not much. So she's gonna be, like I said, quite mild. Whatever her name is, gonna be probably be defeated here pretty soon. And it's weird. Is this still four mil or five mil? It's weird on their health sometimes. And then they're gonna like technically jump up to it at the last second. So it makes a weird number here. Yeah, so it should be an even number. That should have been four mil. Oh, I see. It's showing their health. Never mind. Okay. I didn't realize it's doing that. I thought I was just show the number and it'll go down. So it is showing remaining health, okay. Second casualty. I was watching him because like he went to the heal right as they're dropping down. I don't think um, I 
I want to say Nova, but I know her name. <laughs> Polaris was going to, uh, about to get healed. I don't think she had a full heal like she was supposed to. I don't know if it might be a total full heal, but, like, she got a slither of health. She should got more than that. But this is also why it sucks not having a, a dedicated healer. Yeah, we can find out who, our, who else we have for healer here in a minute. How do we do that? Go to um, the uh, the ascension, and then you see the trees who are heal considered healers. I go buff healers to see if uh, who they consider a healer. There's a couple of them, like they're warrior, and then might be slash healer, but I don't know every hero's skills. Because, like, you pick your best teams where you think the best teams. And then later on, you'll be leveling them, and once your main team is leveled, right? But you're always gearing them, because you're constantly gearing. I could have waited to see, I think the buff just would get redone, but we could wait to see what the timer is for the buff to change. Also, besides waiting the next day, we could definitely have a different buff in the day, because today's buff, I think, kind of sucks. We should always have one for a tank or for a warrior. And she's getting bigger and bigger as the fight goes on. You never see her get this big because you, like, you, the max is six minutes, right? That's still up, by the way. Be one hitting them. <laughs> the shows don't work that way though. But I think they do get more damage as she gets bigger, but. Okay, what do we get? Oh, we get something though. Not enough. Log. For this battle. Yeah, she was doing the most damage. <laughs> uh, so all I was saying is the buff changes in seven hours, right? Which would be at daily reset. So remember, we have until the next day reset because of we have so like almost twenty three hours left. So it was like Definitely is going to go enter, cha enter challenge for battle of heroes. Let's say maximum. Oh, I can't pick. Uh, Pick what we picked. Nebula, the uh, and drummer boy, Sebastian. Right, do do do. I don't know what we picked for him then. I think it was Senrax. Yeah, because Mara goes back there. Then okay. And I'll put in here, uh.
It was roughly like 382 mil damage. And in case someone sees that in my go, they'll know who to pick. I think we picked Ziri. Did we not pick Ziri? Yeah. All right, which we didn't do. Two times in the adventure mode. We'll go back to Archdemon in a second, but we also, by now, we should go to another Grand Arena, our last one. It's, ah, darn, darn it. Uh, no. Uh, the 89. The first team, no. So we'll go this way. With the 89, it should be our best second. And the middle one. Was that one pretty tough, too? 95? This is probably still a no. Right, defeat, victory, victory. I don't think it's gonna be a victory because of that, but we can try. And looking at that was a loss. Defeat, victory. Yeah, I have a feeling because it's 95 here. We could have switched these two, but this being an 89 tank, it was like it was iffy to begin with. All right, so that's all done. I mean, it's all done. So now I don't care. We'll Oh, no, can't do that. Fame. Alright, airship that we haven't done it, which we should have everything done. Alright. I know we have the old dungeon to do. Uh, killed activity two times in the... User warrior. Right, and adventure mode. So this is what I'm saying. If you don't know who a healer is or warrior are, go to your guild. We gotta do Asgard too, but we're gonna lose right now because they're still 85. Um Aspirin Sire? Aspire Sire? That's not the one we want. Uh Great Tree of Wisdom. So on here, for example, look over here. Like this is mage, this is tank, marksman, healer. So we only have two healers, right? We don't have Marcus. Because how they're grayed out, that means we don't have them. So Thea, Maya, Marcus, Dorian, Jet, Martha, and I forget his name, Adrian or something like that. But it's funny though. We know Celeste is a healer. So it's kind of like, it doesn't show, these are like main healers, I guess. They're not like, um, support as a, like the healer is a secondary class. Right, same with this. Let me get down. I don't let me, let me stupid again. Reload. <laughs> it might take a few. Like sometimes they lag. Uh, mail. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's been a while ago. Victory. Yay! And then someone logged in. Three nine seven. So what I was gonna say next is uh, we're not going through that. Like it's it's weird. I have the warriors and stuff are. Merchant, right? Well, we have we are definitely play that. So your arena shop, right? We have those. Grand Arena. Marcus is another one. We need three more for Marcus. He's considered a, he a healer. There we go. We have a healer now. <laughs> All right. We need 83. We need... We can evolve. And Marcus, we need more. So Grand Arena normally has so many heroes. Tower... Like, we already have all these, obviously. Uh, friendship. We didn't have these two. Outland. 17 more. To evolve. To evolve. To evolve. To... You can evolve now. Right? We're not doing Guild War. But, oh, this is the skins. Sample. Jewel. Right? We need 30 more. So on this, if you're in a guild, right, Jewel's good for attack. So is Jasmine. 
We already have Zeri. We already have Arachne. Like, he helps with attack speed, so he would be good. So we need 30 more stones, right? So we need to spend 6. So 6 times 65. So you can buy more, right? That'll give us 30 stones. How many do we need? We need 30 stones. So I, I can able to do this. Right? It's gonna cost me 390. But like, then Yasmin's a good one to have too. We need 18, she's cheaper. So if you want, yay, right? And then Yasmin, we only need 18. How many can we buy? Not enough, because 65 per. So at least we got Jewel. Jewel, however you say his name. It's like Jewel, Jow. I don't say how to pronounce, but all right, that's it. We can't get more for the other ones. <clears throat> so we can summon Marcus. See, healer, support, front line. Great. And Joel. Marksman. Middle line. Great. So we have a marksman. I think it's for the warrior. So the only way to really do it is to go over them and hit stats. Temple, he's a marksman. Uh, mage support. Pippa, that's the last tier. She's mage, but her additional role is healer. So she does count if it says for a healer. All right. Uh, so now we got Jewel and Marcus. It's probably at the very end now. Really not? There's Marcus. Now look at the stars. Right, he's healer and support. And Jewel is marksman strength. Look at his skills. Jewel becomes in range for seven seconds, significantly increasing his attack speed. Right, while in rage, Jewel cannot die. Right, each of Jewel's attacks does additional pure damage to the target while sacrificing 2% of their current health. And that changes as he levels. Uh, for a period of time, Jewel increases attack power and focuses attack on the ranged enemy. The jewel is not under control effects after the first skill is used, which is the first one. He regenerates some health. So I thought he buffs the team, but maybe he doesn't. He buffs himself. Alright, so with that, we're going to try for another five minutes. Um, This battle, because we go to him... Yeah, but you see, well, we only need less than 50 mil. We need less than 44 mil, right? Because this number here is so 44 mil. So let's attack. We'll get our last gift. We'll be done with this for the day. So we know we got a healer. Do do do, Marcus. We're gonna pick Joel, although he has not nothing to help him today. This remaining one's like. Uh... This would be a hero sh temporary shield. He does something. So I'm trying to bait whether it be Sebastian or not. Of course, the pet's going to be over before we forget. So I hit, I hit to hit two battles without picking a pet. Uh, we did not use the warrior yet. We never picked him on our second team. And it's if because now he has a buff for support, right? So that means his energy is going to go up. I don't care what he does. I'm going to do this. Because we he's the tank, but I have a feeling he's going to get defeated real easy. Right, so only, what, one of them has a buff for being in control. No one for a mage. Which does more damage. Heidi definitely has survivability, and she's back and forth, so maybe we'll put Heidi in. 
I forget what uh, Chris Club does. Like we talked about it. I know that one's Whirlwind. I forget what she does. I think of her more of an archer, but I could be wrong. Right, and then we don't have Helio, so the other guy. Well, also there's an Alpha Blight here who does uh, the Lightning Thunder or something like that. He'll be good because he'll give clones. I think we'll go with this for now. Once again, the one in the front, we want Oliver. The healer will probably pick Axel. I just happen to know how it works. Sometimes you want these two viewers. Like, Marcus Rufus is a good team. Uh, Kane or so Albus? What can Joel have? Joel can have Albus. So we'll do Kane. And then back here. Uh, can we pick Mara? No. Armor. Magic Penetration. Marlin. So, yeah. Good choice. All right. We'll try again. All right. We only need like 44 mil, so we'll just luck. Those little arms are coming from Phobos. Heidi the monkey, you should probably see it. She throws this poison, she throws this snake. Which I think is pure damage. You think it'd be poison? But I think it's a or is it just physical damage. See, this is a shell from Azeroth. This is going really good. So if you think this was cheating, I'm sorry. I have it. If you don't have it, pick to someone else. I'm just going through the video. I don't want to be sitting here for another three more flights to try to defeat him to get the daily done. Because we already wasted an hour already on the previous video. Glad I was talking beforehand, explaining some things about the heroes, but for why I was picking who. But it seems like it doesn't matter. Pick who you think. Uh, like I said, pick who you think is going to win, type of thing. If you don't know, just see what other people are picking. That's why I was trying to explain why I was picking them, but. Today the buff just sucks. So basically I want you to pick all, ma all mages and all support. And you need tanks, you need healers. Plus synergy between the heroes. I mean, the only thing synergy really have is this one for a shield, this one for heals. The rest are all independent of each other. And I don't think they are anyone actually buffs. The only good thing about do uh, Heidi is she dodges and then she turns invisible. So unless he has support or hits like maybe his um, meteor attack or whatever you call it, that right there it's a miss. So she didn't even come out of hiding. I mean she can't hurt. She, he can't hurt Heidi unless his hit takes her out and then it can take damage. And Joel eventually will be immune after he uses his main skill. Look, we're about halfway, we're at 25 mil, we only need 44 mil. So I halfway is 48, but we're going to have to do it. So I'm, I'm thinking they'll get, they'll get like 50 mil.
Yeah, we got our 40 for a mil, so we're, we're glad this is the last time we can fight him today. There's no point afterward. Once you get your 300 mil reward, you're done. There's no point after that. And let's try and see if the remaining team does more damage for the next day, which I'm not going to do for the video purpose wise, but. So I said something like yourself off camera, but. You know, not making a video about. But sometimes I'm trying to show progress, like you're playing, I'm doing these different things. Like right now, this doesn't cost me energy. I'm also wasting 5 minutes of the 8 minutes I need, or off the 10 minutes for granted we never reset. You know, without an emerald, so. We're doing something. And this event happens when you begin with energy, or it did today and the first day, but I don't know, the, the, yesterday. I thought I was supposed to guarantee give me at least 100 energy every time. But, you know, things change. Events change. The rewards definitely change. Usually they're similar, very close with the previous time they have this event, but... It could be like, oh, we're doing Titans, maybe they're giving more Titan stuff. Now they give us a lot of pet stuff. I wish we'd had a pet one done, so it's nice that they're in a row like that. So they like, oh, you didn't get all your stuff to upgrade your pets. So here's another event that's giving you, giving us pet, pet potions and Titan potions, right? For the rewards. I'm pulling over here guess where it's at when this is done. Thirteen, yeah. You wanna stop me, he's immune. So at least you know how many seconds that was. I think it was nine seconds, so he should be immune for the rest of the fight. And this team so far, because they had a healer, technically two for the pet. That's why they're able to survive a lot. But that team did really good for not having a dedicated healer. Yay, I'll make sure it wasn't processing error, because I hate to do that again. Yay, last reward. Like I said, we got pet potion. Energy, pet potion, energy, summoning spears, which is for titans, uh, artifact key chest, which is like the artifacts to upgrade artifact weapons and stuff, uh, chaos particle, which is what's used to upgrade pets, uh, titan artifact spears, uh, to get titan artifact fragments and elemental spear fragments, what does that one say, artifact chest, and then of course agility skin stone. Which is, you know, for our hero, for agility. Um, which I think is like your bowman, like the archer Artemis, for example, would use that. So, the only one they're not giving you is chaos particles, which is what we really need. Okay, this one up from 1.4. Same team. So, someone got a better score. So, it must have reset at guild reset. Because remember when we first started it, it was like only 1.4 billion. Now they're back to where it was, 1.64 billion. So. Yeah, it's the same teams. It's tough because of the double or quadruple damage. So, we're good. Let's, uh, nature season... I forget because it wants us the energy. Right. Win two times in adventure mode using a warrior hero. Right. So, let's go on a campaign. Uh, we have to win two times. So, the easiest one it has to be two times. So, two different times. Go to campaign. Since we know we're going to do it eventually, let's just pick one here. Like, we're going to do that. Just hit start. Now make sure they say warrior, for example, she's a warrior, right? As long as they're in the team, it counts. Remember, it's three stages, but this still counts as one battle. Doesn't matter if she even attacks, as long as she's in the team. I mean, I could just put her, but I could have picked, like, who's the other warrior. We just got another person as a warrior. Um, Jewel, I think. All right. And let's hit return to city just to show you that it did it should count it in the oh in adventure mode oh i'm glad we did that adventure mode is the one we for pets <laughs> as it wasn't campaign so i misread that all right uh whatever and 
Let's pick this adventure. Valley of the Elements. Who also joined that one? I wish you can see who this is. Uh, Kozak. Okay, so this one should be about done. Yay. Yay. We have a couple of battles. All right, so we make sure we have a warrior. Right, the toughest one. So we're going to get our daily done here. Uh, 76, right? Or 73. So we might not get a full clear. So hopefully they don't hate me. But we have 10 moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So maybe on the last one. So do we want to... Now that we're in here, no one else can join this. Do we want to go level up? That's what I'm probably going to go do. Because we have all this energy now. We have to get our dailies done. Except for our guild dungeon. So I might just come back to it. Let's get our guild dungeon done. Put that in the studio. Because the last is just so easy. It's no brainer stuff. Alright, so guild. Let's do some dailies though. Upgrade our hero skin. Right. Normally your skills if you haven't done it. Uh, just for a long go, we're going to keep that. Items. Glyphs. Uh, oh, the magical blind spawn would be enough, right? Gift of the elements. How much is he going to cost us? 120,000. Okay, we have it. Artifacts. Right, the first one, and that's that for the third one. It's only on certain ones. I think that's it. We just gotta do this. Right? We don't need to do Ascension. That's for the other one. So we got a couple. Now we just went down one hero and other stuff. We're about to do this. Our Tartan Apex Spears. We're hoping for a Titan Altar eventually. We'll stop. Right? About the Titan Artifact. Uh, looks like. He can summon one. And this one costs gold. So it's Titans that cost gold, okay. Um, sure. Oh, we're here, though. No, no dot on it like this one. I must do another one to is the cosmos gold. I was trying to see, but we're in this weird menu where you can't go back to hit levels on them. Elements is after we do all this setting pack to XP potion. Um uh, yeah, sounds good for now. But eventually the rest of the ones we have to use them on. They so, right there we sell up 74. 210 energy, not even trying. We're about to do that, so Emerald Exchange. All right, nothing for Titans, right? Let's go to our Titans. Yes, I want you, you know it. You, you, <laughs> Uh, right here, let's do Titans first. Oh, we can summon Mala. Sweet! We got another Fire Titan. So we're definitely going to put some blah blah up on him. Uh, remember here... Let's go back out. Hit X. Go to Titan Valley. Tournament of the Elements. I thought... Oh, it's right here, Titan Valley. Merchant, right, certificate exchange. Not it. Yes, it's from the guild, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I guess that's it's the only way. Um, I don't think we have any loot boxes, do we? Like any chest because we're looking for potions. That was random. All right, let's go back to here. All right, let's go back to our guild. 
Titans. Not enough. So I think we're good. All right, let's get this over with. Hero. Yeah, so no one's even fought today. Uh, true, it's only been almost two hours since the guild reset. We're good, but we want to change these two around just so. I don't know why I don't remember that. Bad daily bonus. Alright, Earth. Oh, it's Nyx. I could have sworn I've seen that with Earth. Oh, it's Nyx. Alright, we have a chance now. Um, 28. And we have that, right? Let's pick our divination cards. Let's see what it thinks we're going to win with. Okay, if things were a great risk, we're going to win without losing much health. Um, two twelve, a thirty, and two of the fires. So yeah, look to you. That is. I think that's what actually what we have here. So it should. So I'm not taking the prediction. I'm just going to fight. Zombies. I want to check this, but by all rights, I, I should. Yeah. We're going to pick the mixed team. I look at this team. Once again, it predicts. So this one yeah, it has two fires, two waters in hand. It looks like the Earth one does lose a little bit of health, but I'm fine with that. A little bit's fine. He already has a little bit gone, so it's probably. The first one, it says we only lose a little bit and, or none, but maybe a still there, but he lost more than what they said. Where I was hoping that this one heals, he always heals the least, the, least, the Titan with the least amount of health. Last, you know, who, who, who took the most damage in that? Who has the least health in that battle, right? It doesn't matter if it's going to be the battle or not. And he didn't have a chance to heal, I don't think. It's so inconsistent of when he heals. And it's like a second or third skill, so he doesn't like it when his energy's up. His energy's up, he does like a massive ice attack or something. Uh, looking at that, this fire or earth, we probably should pick earth, but looking at these are pretty low level. Yeah, it predicts if we use that one, but then if we don't use that one since he is so low, then we didn't have them yesterday. But one of these might take more damage, so we're we're gonna pick the earth one. Yeah. And then we're always well, we should check too. We're so close on getting Selvia. If we can summon her. See, we got a fire on that one, okay. 
Uh, like I said, upgrade Titans. Uh, Sylvia is four away. Sigurd, we we want. He's a tank. We want everybody, but all right. So sometimes like this is sometimes you pick your battle on what soul zone you want if they're about even. But on this one, it's the same as before. We're gonna fight. They're level thirty. We don't have much of a choice. Tough choices here, right? Because you're a mixed team again, so it's probably gonna be this one again. But our, our poor Titan in the front being picked on. So I'm hoping that whoever his name is heals that one. My mouse kind of where his helps at. He he had for a second there, and we saw it. My arrows were at the original house. So he's almost back to where he was. He lost a little bit, but I don't know if you've seen it, like, exaggerated. It went down a little bit and then went back up. But it went, and then he got hit again, so. <laughs> like, uh, Athlon. Okay. So, but we did have five, right? That's what I'm saying. We already had the checkpoint, so. We have to go down four. Five and five. So technically, we have to fight 15 battles to get to the next checkpoint. And if we don't, right, on the next four right here, you can kind of see the chains. Some of you see it there or not. It brings you back to this floor. So if we don't get there, we're going back to 151. Right? If you get there, we go back to 161. So this is where you have a checkpoint every 10, but at the same time, it's not every. It's not like your battle is a 10-4 for the next checkpoint. So that's why I said that question is a little bit weird. So you might think it sometimes it is fifteen, but it's it's actually ten between each one, but on the halfway you get a checkpoint to go back five. And then when you get there, like so it should be if we get to the end, it should be a checkpoint to this floor, but it, it's always going up straight above. Versus, you know. So this is like, I should accept, but. I want the guarantees later. Oh, I know a lot of people say don't use them. But a lot of times they're close. And sometimes she's way off. Is this knowing your Titans and who they're fighting? Like I said, I never use it on a hero, there's no point. Because if they get defeated, you can try again with the same team, or a different team, or a different combination of a team. So there's no point. And then once you're past 60 until 4 100, maybe 65 about then, you're good. So we know as long as we're about 65, we're good to win. I mean, you might have, it's like the tower, you have the chance of being wiped, for example, if they have the Yasmin the Stink or something, but. Let's try again. It's RNG whether who she hits, who she takes out first. If you have Martha, she's almost guaranteed to attack Martha. Which is like the healer in the back. She sits on the elderly woman who sits on a turtle. Depends what skin, because sometimes she looks like she's a hippie. And she looks a lot younger, but... Default skin. It's your grandma, right? Your grandma sitting on a turtle for some reason. All right, is a flyer or mixed, right? We'll do mixed. Uh, this is gonna be a double. Also, we'll be like this. He's getting picked on a lot here, so let's see the fire. Uh, he doesn't get wiped out. I'm going, and they have full health. I'm going to take this. Yeah, because they're 15, so 
I'm surprised the seven doesn't get wiped out. And I could have also put some more um, health potions on them. Let's see. Because of being so double, we definitely have enough health potions. But at the same time, I kind of want to save it for the higher ones to make them more powerful. Right, I battle, so I'm saying, since that has a fire. Right, well, so at least, even though he's about to, see, the thing now is now he's about to be defeated. Got a couple levels on him. So it's either fire, he gets defeated, so I just wasted those points, or we have water, or earth. Uh, huh? Let's pick this. Did he get defeated? Oh, he's level 30, duh. It's like, I'm thinking, why, why did he get defeated? So I was predicting that... I think we're okay with this prediction. I'm blowing out the fire because I'm pretty sure the last other day it was a fire battle. It's, fire, it's always fire or water, it seems like. And eventually one of the days is going to be Earth. But lately it's been fire, water, picks. And I should write it down. Okay, this has to be an earth, so. So we just had two earth battles in our row. Huh? It's still good. Uh, so, like doing this, you're guaranteed to get him, energy to go up. So, the next battle he does is going to be better. Okay, we have a checkpoint. And because here we got the 169, we know that it's going to activate. If it said 171, then we know, oh, we have to... But then it would have put us back up far. It's like weird. Alright, let's take this battle. Fire, water again. Uh, predicts he gets defeated, but since he's new, do we care? And then we have this one. Uh... It's not bad. Kind of looking at that, we, we hope that maybe he heals more, but there's a, but a higher chance that he's not going to heal like we think he's going to. Until you have a wire totem, which is guaranteed to heal well, um, anyone that's in that battle. Normally it's with water, but if it's Meg, you have to have three water titans for the totem to work. My mana count doesn't have it yet. Only thing I have is the Earth one, which kind of sucks. Yay. Yay. So now, we got our 75 Titan at least. Alright, so now, do you want to continue or not? Do you try for the 150? Since these are, um, this one's guaranteed we'll do it. I'm going to try for 150. We don't have an event now saying get Titanite. I don't think there's any of those ones, but I could be wrong. Got it in check them. I don't know if we have a new one or not. Those other ones are like the normal like energetic warrior or whatever. Those seem to be up a lot. Okay, for this... Uh, I'm going to say accept. I don't care. Ah, oh, I didn't want to accept. Why, why did I do that? Mama mia. <laughs> I want to fight that one. I think this one. I want to fight. I don't want to accept. <laughs> Never accept hero battles. And that's you keep losing, and then you just want to get past it, right? You keep, you know, trying to lose your retreat. Ugh. Oh well. So 
so we're gonna go with mixed. See that one? See the problem with the, the mixed one there? He just defeated. Like, now we don't know. Is it gonna be a fire we're gonna be down to? We don't want to, right now. I think he's at f almost full health. Yeah, so they're at full health. So I'm gonna, so I normally would say accept it, but we're gonna since we already did one by accident, we're gonna go ahead and fight, and hopefully he doesn't get defeated. He's like very close. Come on, heal. Like, he didn't heal before the battle ended. I love seeing hero battles. There are no stress wins, right? again or water water or fire okay they predict that they get defeated so that's a no brand no this one is the first one i'm just gonna say accept i could level him but the fact is being low level like that i'm not going to because anything i want to save some potions to level up another hero when we do the tournament of the elements so i won't be using him right uh we'll play on our own on this one Fight on your own. <laughs> the no brainer battle. Yeah, we will waste the 130, but you know, if you want to start commenting or something, what we do have 130. Because we still have the gear and stuff. You still want to see battles every day. Because it's going to get boring. It's mainly doing dailies and events. Right, to do bubbling, get energy. Uh, he gets defeated. Uh, uh, we'll accept that. We got another checkpoint. We want that far. See, some days, and we're at 149, right? So we'll do this one. So the other question is do you do it and might not get as far tomorrow? Or you try to help your guild. Uh, go back out. Yeah, so silver. But sometimes it might be a little bit more, and then we'll accept. Because it's level 30 and a 10. I guess we're going to accept. I'm not willing to take the chance. 34 blues. Guarantee win. Guaranteed win. Because of the level thirty Earth Titans about defeated. But I don't know how far we're gonna get if we get another Earth battle. Cause I have to get one out instantly. So I'm just going just to get this done. Help my guild out. Which sucks being in the morning like this, like or after a guild reset, like no one else is battling yet. Normally by the time I get for another hour or two, cause it's almost midnight my time. For example, uh, dead. Uh, what is it? No, we have no predictions. Ah. We wasted that one. 1919 on a 1520. He's getting wiped, so we're down to one. But we'll get ready to retreat in case it isn't. 
Just in case that way we can use them on the next battle. I'm still not liking that. Let's go to the next battle. Because now they're back to their full more health. Alright, it sucks that we don't have it. So, example, with 20, it's going to be weird on this. He's not in the front. He's not in the front. That's the only one in the front. Being level 27, I don't think that's wasteful to put health potions on him. He might survive a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice him, though. Does it take the hits? Cause we don't even want our two fire because we have to use them. But I don't know if the next battle is going to be water. That's my, my only issue. Or earth. And then he's defeated almost instantly, so it's down to level 10. So I know we're not going very much further. So let's just try this one. I mean, hopefully he heals somebody. said let's take her out it, it is what it is because i think it was going to be regardless it's going to be one one fire titan left all right so we have four more battles after this hopefully one of them will be a hero so hopefully that is down to three with titans so hopefully only two titan battles and there's two more hero battles all right there's five on the floor we're in we're in one of them right now we're guaranteed to have one more hero battle. But it's never the last one, though. I always be a titan, so... Okay, fire or earth. <laughs> I hate not having predictions. Uh, 22 with a 15 and 11. Or a 20 with a 20 and 19. There's no way. So it would have to be this battle. And I still don't think... It's two to one, right? Because they're both the same level as that one. I think this is a defeat. I'm trying to keep on in case it's not. I, I wish you knew what the next battle was. Because the next one was water. And we're, down, we're definitely done. Yeah, we couldn't retreat. Okay. Then we have this one. The only choice. It's a two to one, but if they're both level twenty that he's, he's defeated. And even at full health. That's why earlier like, do we keep that one to take some hits? He might have had a chance. Like two. I don't know how the Earth Titans are bringing the fire minions. Because our hero doesn't do that. Well, it was close too. We would have kept that one. Oh, look at that one hit! Like we could have tried again, but I would call it done. One eighty-seven. Yeah, we're at the time. Uh, daily quest. Our energy we never claimed. Okay, this has been the Rotten Raven. Thanks for watching.